senior citizens. In regard to the three direct payments that are going to be sent to you on July 4th, we have some very important information. This is something that you need to be aware of if you receive benefits from the AA, Social Security, SSI or SSDI, or SSDI. The information that you need to know in order to be prepared for these payments will be explained to you in this video. So here is what we will discuss this section. We'll clarify who is qualified to receive these payments and who does not qualify. Whether you are receiving benefits from Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or the VA will play a role in determining whether or not you are eligible. In the details of the payment, the quantities that you can anticipate receiving will be broken out. If you are aware of the precise numbers, you will be able to properly plan for your financial requirements. Effects on the advantages, find out how the new payments will impact the benefits you are now receiving. We are going to make it clear whether there are any modifications or alterations that you need to be aware of. You will be provided with straightforward, step-by-step -step instructions on how to get your payments, which will guarantee that you will receive your money without any problems. All the techniques, from bank transfers to checks, will be covered in this article. Now that we are getting closer to the 4th of July, a day that is traditionally linked with fireworks and demonstrations of patriotism, there is still another cause for senior citizens to be happy this year. For the recipients of Social Security. Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs Virginia Benefits are going to receive three significant direct payments in the near future. And given the current state of the economy, every additional dollar is valuable, and it is of the utmost importance that you comprehend all of the information on these forthcoming payments. It is imperative that you have this information in order to ensure your financial well-being, regardless of whether you are a veteran, a disabled individual, or a retiree. First things first, let's talk about the cost of living adjustment collar payment that Social Security recipients get. One of the most important aspects of the Social Security program is the cost of living adjustment collar, which is designed to prevent the buying power of benefits from being diminished by inflation. And Annually, the cost of living adjustment COLA is calculated by taking into account the percentage increase in the consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers. COLA was established in 1975. A considerable cost of living adjustment COLA rise of 8.7% for 2023 has been announced by the Social Security Administration this year. This amount represents the greatest adjustment in more than four decades. This significant increase is a reflection of the high inflation rates that have been seen over the course of the past year and is intended to assist beneficiaries in coping with the rising costs of living. This corresponds to a rise of more than $140 per month for the typical beneficiary of Social Security retirement. However, the exact amount may vary depending on the level of benefits that you are now receiving, depending on your present situation. Even if this cost of living adjustment collar was implemented in January 2023, it is essential to keep in mind that the payment that was made on July 4th indicates a continuation of the adjusted benefit level. The existing receiver of Social Security retirement, disability or survivor benefits or supplementary security income must be eligible for this cost of living adjustment color rise in order to be eligible for it. You do not need to take any action in order to receive the increment because it is performed automatically. With that being said, it is always a good idea to examine your benefit statement in order to be certain that the increase has been applied appropriately. In order to accomplish this, you can log into your My Social Security account online. Even while the cost of living adjustment color hike is obviously good news, it is essential to be aware that it may have an effect on your tax situation. If the total amount of your income is greater than specific levels, your Social Security benefits may be subject to taxation. Therefore, it is recommended that you seek the advice of a tax professional in order to have an understanding of how this increase can impact your individual tax status. At this point, let's shift our focus to the Supplemental Security Income SSI payment. Uh, the Social Security Disability Insurance SSI program is a government program that offers monthly benefits to individuals and children who are blind or have impairments and have limited resources and income. It is also available to persons who are 65 years old or, or older and meet the financial requirements, even if they do not have any forms of disability. On the other hand, SSI is paid by general tax receipts in contrast to Social Security benefits. People who receive Social Security income SSI payments normally get them on the first of every month. On the other hand, payments are typically distributed on the business day that comes before the first in the event that the first falls on a weekend or holiday. SSI recipients will receive their payment for the month of July on Friday, June 30th, 2023. This is due to the fact that the 1st of July, 2023 is a Saturday and the 3rd of July, 2023 is a federal holiday. The 8.7% cost of living adjustment that was indicated earlier will be reflected in this payment. An eligible individual can receive a maximum of $914 per month from the Federal Supplemental Security Income SSI program in 2023, while an eligible couple can get up to $1,371 per month. On the other hand, the Federal Supplemental Security Income SSI payment is supplemented by additional monies by many states, which means that your real payout can be larger depending on where you live. You must meet certain requirements in order to be eligible for Social Security Disability Insurance SSSI. These requirements include being at least 65 years old, blind or disabled, having a restricted income and resources, and being a citizen of the United States or belonging to specific categories of immigrants. 
Additionally, you must be a resident of either one of the 50 states, the District of Columbia or the Northern Mariana Islands in order to be eligible. There are a number of factors that might influence the income and resource restrictions for Social Security eligibility, including your living situation and the state in which you reside. These limits can be highly complicated. If you are not presently receiving Supplemental Security Income SSI but believe that you may be qualified for it, you have the option of applying for it in person, over the phone or online at the Social Security office in your area. Last but not least, let's talk about the payment schedule for Veterans Affairs Virginia benefits. As veterans, their dependents and survivors are eligible for a wide variety of benefits which are made available by the Department of Veterans Affairs. The purpose of these benefits is to provide aid to veterans in a variety of areas of their lives, including but not limited to healthcare, disability compensation, educational assistance and housing assistance. On July 1st, 2023, veterans who are receiving benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs will receive their regular monthly payment. On the other hand, given that the 1st of July occurs on a Saturday this year, it is possible that many veterans will receive their payment on Friday, June 30th, depending on the regulations of their respective banks, it's in contrast to Social Security. Benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs VA do not automatically increase with the cost of living COLA on an annual basis. Rather than that, legislation must be passed by Congress in order to raise these rates. The on the other hand, veterans who are receiving certain VA benefits might notice a rise in their payments as a result of recent legislation changes or their own personal circumstances. For instance, beginning on December 1st, 2022, veterans who were receiving disability compensation from the Department of Veterans Affairs VA received an increase in their monthly benefits of 8.7%, which was equal to the increase in the cost of living adjustment COLA for Social Security in 2023. Eligibility requirements for the Department of Veterans Affairs VA benefits vary from program to program. In general, you might be qualified for this program if you served in the active military, Navy or Air Service and were dismissed under circumstances that were not considered dishonorable. A variety of benefits, including disability compensation, the Veterans Affairs Pension and the Veterans Affairs Healthcare System, each have their own set of eligibility requirements. If you are a veteran who is not already receiving benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs VA, but you feel that you may be qualified for such benefits, you have the option of applying for them online, through the mail, in person at the VA regional office that is closest to you, or with the assistance of an accredited representative or agent. A significant number of elderly people may be qualified for a variety of benefits. And it is essential to be aware of this fact. You could, for instance, receive Social Security retirement benefits in addition to Social Security disability payments from the Department of Veterans Affairs, or you could receive SSI in addition to a modest Social Security income. The ability to maximize your income and ensure that you are receiving all of the help to which you are entitled requires that you have a solid understanding of how these advantages interact with one another. In most cases, Social Security and VA benefits do not interact with one another. However, Supplemental Security Income SSI could be impacted by other sources of income, including Social Security and VA benefits. In order to guarantee that your payments are accurate and to prevent any potential overpayments, you should always get in touch with all of the necessary agencies and report any changes in your benefits or income. The management of several benefits can be difficult, but there are tools and tactics that can assist with this challenge. You are able to manage your benefits, update your information and access vital documents through online portals that are provided by both the Social Security Administration and the Department of Veterans Affairs. In addition to this, it is essential to maintain the records of every correspondence that pertains to your benefits. Maintain an awareness of any updates or modifications that may be made to benefit programs and promptly 